Today, we're gonna play with a full face of Gucci makeup. Obviously, we all know it's a very expensive, luxurious brand. Let's see if the quality reflects the high price tags. First, we have their primer. This is very beautiful packaging, very feminine, very soft, has a frosted glass bottle, has a beautiful lid. This does retail for 57 US dollars at one, has one fluid ounce. And the thing about this primer, they're saying it creates a luminous matte finish evens tone and visibly plump skin while creating a soft glow effect. I really wanna test this on half of my face. We'll do the right side versus the left. Right side, we'll do the primer. Okay, we'll do one pump. It does have a scent, kind of strong. It just, it looks like a nice serum and it feels like a nice serum. Kind of feels a little silicone-y and you can see a difference right away, definitely kind of created a very soft, luminous matte finish on the face, which is really nice. Okay, now that it's settled onto the skin, it definitely kind of has a little powdery feeling afterwards. Feels very soft and smooth. Next, we have the foundation. It's a natural finish foundation. It's a medium buildable, buildable coverage, which I like. And the foundation looks exactly like the primer, which is exactly the same. I'm gonna give this a good shake. And I did get two shades. I got Fair 150C and then I got Fair Medium 210C. And you can see the packaging, even though it's frosted, you can definitely see if you have like some kind of serum on your hands, it gets dirty. And so far, the primer and foundation are not getting good higher raving reviews, which is interesting. Wow, it's, look at that, it's straight up liquid. That's very liquidy. And very, I feel a little orange. Wow, that feels like water. That's very interesting. It's like straight up a serum. I feel like there's gonna be like no pigment. I feel like this is gonna be a light to medium instead of a medium coverage foundation. I'm not liking this shade match on me. Let's go with 150C. This texture is very interesting. It's like moussey, but very light. Kind of feels a little oily, but serumy at the same time. It's kind of like, what is going on here, you know? I am gonna try a brush first, just because it does look very light in coverage. So I wanna make sure I get the most pigment or the most coverage out of the foundation. Then maybe I'll go over with a sponge. And I'm just going to dab this into my skin. And the foundation also has a scent. I'm not liking the extra scent. I wish they would just stick to like one product having a set, not everything. And I'm still healing from my scratch from Emirate. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a light to medium coverage foundation. It's definitely not a medium. It's blending really easily. And I feel like even with the brush, I can feel that it's kind of, it has a very interesting texture. And you can definitely see the foundation sitting on the skin, which not my favorite. And the primer, I feel like it doesn't look as good as opposed to the left side. I feel like the left side looks better. Like my pores are not as exaggerated. Now that I'm talking more and more, I can feel the foundation sitting on my skin. Next, we have their powder eyebrow pencil in shade Taupe. This is kind of like an old school eyebrow pencil. Like this literally looks like the L'Oreal eyebrow pencils, but I'm not a fan of these types of pencils because I can't be precise with them. But the color looks really, wow. Wow, I barely pressed and it created so much pigment. Okay, this is very soft and a powdery formula, just like they said. This pencil retails for $32. This better be incredible. I like how soft it is. Like even the way it drew in my hand, like it's a very soft formula. Cause there's some formulas that are just very jelly and waxy and they kind of just melt. And this is more like they said, a powder pencil formula, which is really nice. Very easy to draw. Kind of just blends pretty easily into your hairs. And you can be somewhat precise, but I feel like you can't draw like hair-like strokes as you can with a micro tip eyebrow pencil. But I like how I'm barely pressing and it's just kind of drawn and filling in those areas. I actually really like this pencil, you guys. They don't have an eyebrow gel, so I'm just gonna use my own. I'm just gonna use the 24 brow setter from Benefit. Moving on from the brows, we don't have any concealer, like I said, so I'm just gonna use my own concealer. This is the Ulta Collection. $10 concealer, one of my favorites, it's just so good. I do wanna apply a little bit of lip balm to my lips and Gucci does have a lip balm. $42 lip balm, you guys. 
$42. This is the color right here. Don't ask me why I chose this color, but I did. But it's $42, you guys. Don't get me wrong, packaging is beautiful. Like, it's stunning packaging, but it's $42. And I have tried this out before and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it feels balmy. And it just, I feel like it doesn't really do much for the lips. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love this. It doesn't have a particular scent. I feel like this is the only product that doesn't really have a scent. Can you please smell this? I feel like I'm smelling something, but I think it's just my face that I'm smelling. Yeah, I'm, I'm smelling my face. That's what I'm smelling. I'm gonna move on to the bronzer before I move on to the lashes. Their bronzer, I already have the one shade, but I did order another shade because I feel like this, the shade that I have, it's a little bit, a little bit dark for me. So I wanna try the number one shade. This right here is their Soleil bronzing powder and it comes in this beautiful little, little home. And I think it's just such beautiful packaging. The lip balm matches. And I mean, I can't fault them for their packaging. It's stunning. And this retails for 62 US dollars. And I have used the bronzer before, like I said, and I love the bronzer. So that's why I got a lighter shade because I feel like I'm gonna use this shade even more. You know what you could hide underneath here? Some cash. Seriously, let me think about that. I'm just gonna use the dabbing motions. Oh, that's so pretty. And this is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. And this powder is so soft, it's like velvety, and the way it just blends, it's so effortless. And I have tried it with so many different base products. I've tried it with like serum foundations. I've tried it with just like a BB cream, CC cream, a very full coverage foundation, like a matte formula, dewy formula, and it just works pretty much with anything and everything. Like, I feel like I don't have to try blending this. It just kind of does a job for me. Like airbrushed, right? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If anything from this collection, try out the bronzer. They also don't have blush, so I'm just gonna use my own concoction, Lawless in shade Vintage Love, and then Clinique, their number five, Nude Pop. Next, we have mascara. This is their Lash by Lash Buildable Volume Mascara that retails for $35. <laughs> I did say nothing was cheap here. <laughs> Again, packaging, very beautiful, very feminine, very sleek, chic, and it does have a little bit of weight to it because I feel like the cap has, has a good weight to it. Let's try this out. You do have tiny little bristles that stick out at the very edge right here to, I think, for the lower lash line or whichever. The bristles are nice and stiff, so I feel like you can definitely, like they said, it's buildable, but we'll see. Hopefully this doesn't smudge, flake, give me raccoon eyes, but so far it's going on my lashes pretty well. Seems like a nice lightweight formula, but that's just the first application. I wonder how much we can build it up to. I actually quite like these short bristles. I usually don't, but I feel like because the bristles and the actual wand, it's a little bit more stiff, so you can really kind of wiggle and maneuver your lashes with the bristles, and you can roll the mascara quite easily because it does kind of stick to your lashes. So far, it's not clumping the lashes, it's separating them, but creating a nice volume at the base. I don't think it's curling my lashes or anything but it definitely, it's lengthening and it's, it definitely has volume. You can build the volume to your lashes. That's really pretty. I'm gonna clean up my eyelid from the mascara and then put a little bit on the lower lash line before I clean up, after I clean up, I mean. Those tiny little bristles on the very edge, on the end, they're really helpful for the lower lash line to be nice and precise. Last but not least, we have lipsticks. I have shade Goldie Red, which is number 25, and this is, it says they're the Gucci Red Matte. And then I picked up shade 504 Myra Crimson. I kind of want to do like an ombre look. And the outside of it, it's kind of, it looks like velvet. It's so interesting. I'll try to get a really nice close up of this. I don't even want to try it on because it's just so pretty. And then this right here is 504 Myra. I mean, look at that color. And each lipstick retails for 42 
US dollars, just like the lip balm. <laughs> I don't know why the lip balm is this expensive. Don't ask me. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm gonna start off first with 504. Ooh, I think it is broken because it keeps moving. That's why it looked like it was a lot bigger. So I'm gonna have to lower this. Wow, Gucci. How Quality. dare you? Mm. Okay. That's pretty. Wow. This kind of has like a like a blown out formula. I'm gonna take number 25, the Gucci Red, and I'm just gonna plop that right in the center. Pigmented and very pretty and very smooth. I'm, tr I'm trying to be like really careful, and that's why I'm going like the extra mile of first outlining, then filling it in, and then blending it together, because they don't have a lip liner. Wow, this is a very smooth formula, a very comfortable formula. I think both of these colors are so beautiful because we have Myra Crimson, which is like a beautiful, deep, very blue, or raspberry undertone, very rich red lipstick with a stunning, very orange toned, like a lighter, warmer red lipstick. I think both mixed together give such a beautiful custom look, but the formula is what's getting me. It's such a comfortable, easy formula to put on the lips to blend together. They're so opaque. And the thing is, my lips, they were pretty dry and still feel really dry. But the lips and the lipstick, it feels incredible. Even when I'm moving around, talking, it doesn't feel crusty. It doesn't feel super matte and drying. It just feels very soft, velvety, very satiny, and it feels very lightweight, but you can see how opaque it is. You guys, I think I like quite a bit of this makeup. I really like the eyebrow pencil. So far, the mascara, I'm quite liking it. I love the bronzer, and I really like the lipsticks. I don't like the lip balm. I've had it for a while. I've used it here and there. I got it I got it back in the summertime. I wore it in the summertime because I think it's a very beautiful corally pink shade to wear in the summertime. Because it's so expensive and it's supposed to be a balm that's supposed to just keep your lips nice and plump, hydrated, and just not dry. <laughs> and I feel like it doesn't really do much. I think the color is really pretty. It's a very sheer lip balm, but I think the packaging is I think that's why I'm still keeping it, is because the packaging. It's a very beautiful, substantial lip balm that's $42. I asked Jackie, and she said the right side had the primer, and she wasn't here when I applied it. She said, because it looks smoother. Right here, where I said it didn't really look really good with the foundation, but I feel like with the blush and the bronzer, it looks a little bit more smoother, and I feel like a little bit more even and airbrushed in comparison to the left side without the primer. I think the differences are very minute. I think we'll be able to tell a difference at the end of the day, see if this side is still very even, it's not too shiny, it's not too dewy, it's not too matte, it's just a nice even coverage, even finish. But I think overall, everything looks really good. Now we'll do the wear test and see how well this wears. I do wanna do an update sooner than I usually do because I'll look at the raccoon eyes. And I did use concealer that I use with so many other base products and different mascaras that don't smudge and create raccoon eyes. Look at how bad that looks. It looks really good on the eyelids, but not underneath or right here. Lipstick still looks really nice. Cheeks look really nice, but the actual base makeup, I'm not a fan. Look how it's looking around the nose. Last and final update, not gonna lie, I've had better days with mascara. <laughs> not turning my eyes into raccoon eyes. I already cleaned it up. I don't know how many times, just very gently kind of just try to rub the mascara away. Lipstick, I'm actually pretty shocked at how well it still stayed on my lips. I haven't reapplied it since dinner. For dinner, I had really, really oily and rich. The pasta was pepper and basically butter and just like cheese. Not bad. If anything, I would just reapply it and I feel like it would look really good. I'm pretty impressed with lo the longevity and how well the formulas wore together and throughout the day. Not impressed with the mascara of longevity, especially for the lower lash line. I think it didn't do that great of a job. It did pretty good, honestly, for the top lashes and I think that's how I'm going to wear it, is just top lashes, and then for the bottom lash line, if I do wear mascara, I'll wear something like my hourglass that doesn't smudge, doesn't budge, doesn't go anywhere. The bronzer, beautiful. Like I said, I already have 
quite a bit of experience with the bronzer and I'm obsessed with it. I'm not really a fan of the primer or the foundation for my skin personally. I don't think the primer kept the oil at, at bay because I'm looking and I'm touching and I can feel the oily oiliness on my skin. I feel like it looks better on here because on my the side of my nose, I feel like it looks drier on this side where the primer is. I'm looking right here where I have texture on both sides and both sides look even. Like the foundation does not look great on either side. It looks honestly pretty bad. The one thing I do wanna say positive about the foundation is the way it felt and feels on my skin. Like it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel heavy. It is not pulley and it's not tight on my skin, especially for the end of the day. I'm quite impressed with how it's wearing and it feels, but not impressed with the longevity. I'm not impressed with how it's looking on my skin. And I did not like that it was so fragranced and especially the primer was ridiculously fragranced and it was just like stuck in my nostrils, on my in, in like my nostril hairs. So not impressed with the base. I do like my brows. I think the pencil is really nice. That formula is really buttery. It's very soft. It's very creamy, but also very powdery at the same time, but a good powdery formula. But honestly, if you want a beautiful lipstick, I think their lipsticks are stunning. I mean, just the packaging alone is beautiful, but the lipstick formula is really comfortable to wear, especially the matte formula. It's really nice. And then their bronzers. I think if you want yourself a really indulgent, very expensive, but beautiful bronzer, you would enjoy this treat yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> this that type of a product. But for now you guys, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have tried Gucci makeup, what is your favorite product and why? But for now, I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.